Avengers 4, which Kevin Feige and co. have said, look, this is going to be the definitive ending for everything we've set up so far. Uh, um, Bye-bye, Infinity Stones. Yep. Aww, I'll never come you, back. Do you really <laughs> think that Infinity Stones are gone? Or are you sure they're not just Absolutely. kind of Absolutely. Like... Because I, I don't see how they're going to do the Illuminati. Yeah. What do you mean? How do you, how do you not see well, that? Well, because... because contracts that's true that's true but Literally you can contracts. kind of work around that with characters who are still in contract i mean sure but at the same time i don't the... think i think certain characters aren't gonna still be around Listen. and you can only do the illuminati with so many people are, are... And certain people you're not gonna give an infinity stone to someone they don't know are, are we assuming but, you know. they have galactus right we're assuming they have galactus and all the no i'm are... not gonna assume that okay no, never mind. no okay we're not assuming that we're assuming they have what they have um you know, I feel like Marvel Studios and uh, these actors, Chris Evans, uh, everybody else, uh, mostly Chris Evans because he's my man, uh, he, They, I feel like they have goodwill towards each other and a good relationship that if they ask someone like Chris Evans, uh, Robert Downey Jr., hey, you think you can appear for 10, 15 minutes in this movie? You don't even have to be in there. You could be on a screen and it's the Illuminati, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like no, they have you such can't a good do relationship that. You with can't do that with the Illuminati. No, they're too big to be like, oh, just have 10 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm just trying the, to. The Illuminati work themselves it. are a story. Okay, I, 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 would lo- I would love that. I, I, would, I would love to oh. have an actual story and maybe you work around it with characters they have that are still in contract and maybe you just have like a, a, a Tony Stark uh, be like in and out, but you have like the ones still in contract, the ones doing it. So- you know, it's just one of those things that they can make it work because I feel like they have good relationships. I also, like, I feel that they've kind of hit a, uh, like, kind of like an intersection where they have to decide, it's like, which way are you turning? Because yeah. I've talked to some people that haven't seen Ant-Man and the Wasp yet, despite them loving the first movie. And yeah. I want to be like, okay, why? And they're like, well, I didn't see Civil War, but I saw Avengers 4, so I don't know what Scott's thing was there. And you notice how all franchises, specifically Disney, even the Star Wars movies are now ditching numbers and they're trying to stick more with that whole naming scheme. I think they're becoming very well aware that 20 movies into this, the 22nd one is going to be Avengers 4. At some point, you're going to have to kind of put a nice bookend and like put it back on the shelf and maybe open up a new book and start writing new chapters because it's like you've hit as far as you can in this giant novel you've wrote. And like... I think, like, some things will carry over, but the next step, naturally, I think, has to be a fresh start that kind of harkens back to some of these things. Sure, you can get your Robert Downey Jr. to appear in something, right? He'll want $5 million, $10 million for 15 minutes. They can work that out easily because they know they'll make it back. But at the same time, when you have a character like Black Panther, who you have contracted for, like, six movies— you could just as easily be like, well, we don't need you because we have Black Panther and he made more than Iron Man ever did with, you know, with his first movie. So it's like, well, all right. You know, so I could see how kind of they're saying it's a definitive ending because you got to end these stories at some point because it's like Thanos' arc, the buildup we've had since the freaking, you know, first Avengers. It's ending officially. Like, you can't keep going. And it's only a matter of time till they get the Fox characters. So... At that point, you're starting something completely new. So, like, my feeling is, you know, phase four is probably going to be a mini phase where they don't really build up anything, kind of like Avengers 1 did. But at the end of phase four, they start building up five, six, and seven. So, you have that transitional phase where they know they're getting the X-Men and Fantastic Four, but they can't announce them yet. So, it's like, well, let's just ease through a phase, you know, like the introductory, the new start. Plus, like, they've said that there's going to be another franchise alongside Avengers, so you take the phase to, like, if they do Ultimates, you set up the Ultimates. Mm-hmm. I, I oh, don't, don't, love that. Don't if any, if there's no Illuminati, love the Ultimates. Danvers leading it, you got Panther, man. You know, I never wanted to make, uh, make a sports reference more than ever when you set the book in, because it's just like, they're either you could keep these, uh, these characters who might be past their prime, or mm-hmm. start rebuilding and keep the young core. Uh, young I find it funny that the first thing you go to when you think of bookend is sports. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's I think sports every, everything is sports related in my head. You know what I'm saying? What? Um, but nah, it's just you're right. And eventually, I feel like they gotta bring in characters like a Nova. You know, 
Uh, why not? I yeah. mean, whether it's Richard Ryder or Sam, I would rather it be Sam so him and Peter can, <laughs> you, you know, try. You're going to get the Richard Ryder fans do. salty as hell. Well, I mean, you can't uh, do Sam before Richard Ryder. Agreed, doesn't... agreed, but I would eventually want Sam because, of course, I, I do enjoy that character. Uh, and I just think you know, I want, like, Young Avengers in a way where it's just a bunch of these I mean, heroes who are young and team up. Fun fact, we're getting them. Well, who are the heroes that are young? Cassie. She's super young. When is she? When is yeah, she going to be old enough? But we know they've cast an older Cassie Lang for Avengers Four. Yeah. They did. Okay. And, oh and, man, yeah. did cur- not know that. Cur- but currently, she's possibly dust. I uh, <laughs> I, did, I actually did <laughs> not know that. That's that's the news to me that they cast uh, that. So okay, now okay, we are maybe getting Young Avengers in Avengers Four. And but... plus, like it's Feige. Everything in the MCU so far has been in there for a reason. Nothing's just gratuitously placed as an Easter egg. Oh, I'm not saying that. I, I'm just saying um, I, I would like, you know, maybe if there is Cassie, who else? Cassie, Peter, who else? Are the well, I mean, who they've are... got they've got Wanda kind of right now. Miss possible spoilers. Um, that leads way to Wiccan and um, oh, who's the other ones? It's Speed. But I assume if you're Young Avengers, you gotta have at least five of it, five of them, right? There's oh yeah, Peter, oh, right. Cassie. Let me fin- let me yeah, finish. Go, no, that's bit. what I'm saying. I'm just yeah. Let go ahead. Go ahead. You go. got you got Cassie. You got um, Wiccan. You got Speed. You got Hulkling because of scrolls. Um, you got Hawkeye, so that probably means Kate Bishop's around the corner. That's six or five. Nice. I mean, know if Kate Bishop does show up, but. I, I you mean, got Iron Lad maybe eventually. They're mm-hmm. no doubt going to do America Chavez unless they keep her for the Ultimates. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you, uh, you think people will be against people. that? I don't give a shit what people are going to be. No, against. I'm just saying. They're I'm just, I'm, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying if you care. I'm just saying you, you, she didn't have a great run. Young Avengers though. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, down, no I'm you... down with it. I'm down with it. I'm down because she has. She could be a really good character. You know, people don't like Captain Marvel because of Civil War Two. Who gives a shit? They're gonna make the movie anyway. People don't like her. Oh, mm, I, I just didn't. I mean, we just well, didn't. Well, we both them. didn't like the way we like Captain Marvel. We just didn't like the yeah, way they saying, portrayed not, her. People actively hate that character because of that storyline. It doesn't matter. They're That's making weird. the movie. Oh, let me hate on a character based on one story and not their entire yep. history. Well, like, wow, you haven't seen it. the internet recently. That's all. That's all the hate. Yeah, that's I try. I, I try. I try not to. I I spread <laughs> positivity, uh, positive vibes uh, on my Twitter and the world, and hopefully it comes back. So I usually don't see all that negativity. I usually see a bunch of positive stuff because I try to actively, you know, be surrounded by that. But that's just me because I'm weird. And Mitch always likes to say I'm weird like that. Yeah. <laughs> You're too positive on the internet. Go negative. <laughs> Can we get some Joe's weird in the chat? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep. So uh, that is the, uh, I guess, end to our Avengers 4 definitive ending talk, which brings us to our final topic. Uh,